Edwin Olofo, Chief Press Secretary to Abdullahi Ganduje, National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, has blamed the violent protest in Kano on Abba Yusuf, the governor. During the end bad governance demonstration, protesters broke into public buildings in Kano and carted away properties. While inspecting the damage done to the Kano State High Court building on Wednesday, Yusuf said documents of alleged corruption cases against Ganduje were taken away by hoodlums. In a statement on Thursday, Olofu said the federal government should launch an investigation into the protest in the state. He said, it is alarming that a sitting governor would incite such chaos and violence within his state, putting the lives and properties of innocent citizens at risk. We strongly condemn this reckless and irresponsible behavior, which is an attempt to destabilize Kano, undermine the peace and security of the region, and more importantly, to tarnish the good image of our president. We demand that the federal government, through relevant security agencies, immediately launches a thorough investigation into the Kano state government's involvement in this unfortunate incident. The sponsors of this violence must be brought to justice to ensure that this does not set a dangerous precedent for other states. He described the governor's claim as laughable and wondered how hoodlums would break into a court building and carefully select documents relating to the trial of the APC national chairman and pick and take them away. Olofu added that the governor's claim was only an attempt to divert public attention from the administration's alleged culpability. What happened to the documents with the government lawyers? The state government is bereft of ideas on how to run the affairs of the state and has always resorted to churning out myriads of corruption allegations against the former governor of the state, Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, and his family who served the state diligently, he said. This claim is nothing more than a desperate attempt by Governor Yusuf's administration to divert attention from their culpability in the violence that erupted in the state. Toye, what do you have to say to this? Another table manners. <laughs> How does it apply in, in the okay. case of... Uh, very, very simple, very simple. Mm -hmm. um, some of them, some of them behave like uh, they are not, they are not on planet Earth, or they are not in Nigeria. They are just coming from the mass or from the moon. Mm. Why do I say this? Same thing. There are, there is, there is palpable hunger in the land, and people are venting their anger. People are saying that we are hungry. And someone is saying a government sponsored it. Okay, the one that happened in Lagos State, that uh, they are the man that is in good terms standing with them, who sponsored it? Was it, was it the governor that also sponsored that one? You know, sometimes we, we play to the galleries, and it doesn't help us as a country. Yes, what happened in Kanu should be condemned by all, because what happened at the end of the day wasn't a peaceful protest anymore. It became a little bit volatile and um, uh, against the ethics or whatever of those that organized that protest. That, was, that, was, that, was the, that wasn't their intentment. What they wanted was a peaceful protest. I condemn the actions taken by the protesters in Kanu because they went overboard. Um, I haven't said that. We all, we all are in Nigeria, and nobody will claim uh, that he doesn't know that there is hunger and people, pe there is resentment also in the land. If this protest was not properly managed, it would have snowballed into something that most of us might not even know. Though I'm not, I'm, I didn't protest. I'm not part of those that organized. I don't even know those who organized it, but. Is there hunger? Yes, there is hunger. Are my children eating the way they, are, they ought to eat? No. Because I cannot provide as much as I used to prove. I, I, I am providing, but it's not commensurate with what, I, what used to happen. Before, you can have little, little things by the corner. Now, you stay st strict to what, what will sustain them. 
and someone is saying that uh, he's sponsored. He just want to, he just want to uh, uh, shift attention. There is one guy in the land. Let's wake up as a nation and do the needful. I pray this will be the last protest. But if another one comes up, I don't think it will be this peaceful. Because when a people are pushed to the wall, they will, they will definitely revolt. Me, I'm, I'm begging them not to revolt. Let's give the president some time to, to fix some of these things. But also, those in the presidency should work assiduously as fast as possible to do some overhauling and uh, repositioning of policies. Do you think that, you think that overhauling is working? Re-implementation of policies, hmm. the ones that are, not, that are not working, rework them and see how they can work for the people. Let's whatever they are doing have human face. Let it have human face so that it, the yearnings and the aspirations of Nigerians will be met. Because people, if you ask me, are people suffering? Yes, would people you say, are suffering. Would you say the there is, there is so much anger. Would you say the government is listening? They, they seem to. Okay. But I before, know, before the they, protest, they, they seem to, but uh -huh. the, they are, the actions are slow. Now, okay. now, now, one thing that caused our problem to, to me, not uh, the view of others, was when the president on the day of inauguration, without studying the books, without looking for solutions, abruptly, say fuel subsidy has gone. That, that particular statement is what we are, we are suffering today. If he had sat down, look at the papers, yes, he took the bold step, to, and it's a step in the right direction. But the supporting, the, 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 the things that will support it to, be, to, be, uh, to give succor to our people were not done. It was abruptly done. Mm -hmm. And everything within the body polity of Nigeria, no, not body polity, everything within the business space, within the livelihood of Nigeria, is tied to fuel. The woman that wants to go to market will pay transport to the market, and she will transport her goods back. The man that wants to go to the farm will either carry a kada or carry a farm truck and go to the farm. He will buy fuel or he will buy diesel. The uh, transporter, because fuel price has gone up, he, as you're coming, if you don't have a car, won't you pay transport? You will. As I'm coming, I, I bought fuel. The, the, what I used to fool my tank I wanted with, to ask you before the protest, how much was fuel? A liter. How much do you buy for a liter? I bought fuel seven hundred and. Uh, How much did you buy today? Seven hundred. Now it's eight hundred and ninety. Yesterday I bought for nine hundred naira. Oh, so it's still going up. So and my fuel is all. My tank is almost empty now. That means I'll go and buy nine hundred naira. <laughs> you know. You I know, can guarantee you, you're buying probably nine fifty. Nine fifty or thereabout. Yes. Is Probably it, you buy and, that. And you and you're saying I'm sorry and and Olofo Olofo is saying that he's saying that the, <laughs> the, the protest was sponsored by the state governor. Let's avoid the, the next ones that will come. Let's do the needful. That's why I'm asking. Let's when avoid you, the next ones that, that will come. The government come. appears to be listening. Now I said they may have, they may be you listening. Say if they may be listening, mm. one would wonder how come at the, the aftermath of the protest in response to the cry. And one of the major reasons for the protest was subsidy removal. Well, conversation around that is even another entire um, thing altogether because one would wonder if, if, if dollar is at a thousand plus, why are we buying fuel at 800 Naira if it's being imported, it's bought with dollar? Mm. Why, are you, why are we buying cheaper than what is than, than what is available in the market. No, no, there are there are so many indices and variables. Uh -huh. uh, That's you know, said, let's you know, not go no, into that no. Let me let me give you, you let me give you a little brief it. brief. Okay. Let me, uh, you know, the 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 uh, importation of fuel and AGO mm -hmm. um, is uh, controlled by uh, the international oil commodity pricing uh, template. Okay. Uh, we, we call it, uh, uh, what was it called again? When I remember, I'll come back to it. 
Now, that is the price that is sold at the international market. Mm -hmm. Now, we have a premium, what they call premium. Premium is uh, the charges you pay for vessel, the charges you pay to uh, regulatory bodies, bodies um, the charges you pay to jetties and all that. Now, when you get to the jetty, you will now, you will now also pay, uh, pay MPA or wherever you're moving it from. Mm -hmm. Then you, put, you load it into a tank farm. Now, you will pay the tank farm and Logistics. the activities within the tank farm. So, the international commodity price, if it is, uh, if it, if, and it is based on metric tons, if it is, if it is um, let's say, $500 per metric ton, and a metric ton is equivalent of, is equivalent of uh, 1,164 1, liters, so if you, if you get that, you will now just oppose it with the dollar rate and what have you. That's why we'll buy a little bit lower than uh, what one dollar. In yeah, market. yeah. Well, because in the, in the international market, mm, when you're buying is lower than a dollar. And the landing cost is still lower than a dollar. That's why we can buy. But even at that, what 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 is happening with the with with the direct import direct uh, export? We we take fuel we take crude oil out and we refine and bring it back. What is happening to that policy? Please let's not. Well, we there. have refineries. Then then at the our end refineries of the working. Day, the I question beg, will, I beg, the I question will be at the aftermath. No, we are taking. There is there is a direct sale direct import. Mm -hmm. We we take we take our crude oil. We transport our crude oil out. abroad refine and bring it back have they stopped it if it's still running who is who is with our money that's another question for another day but now the thing is m most nigerians particularly the market women particularly the people the masses out there on the streets do not understand the intrigues of all this what they understand is that they still cannot afford to buy a cup of Gary. On the news this morning, they are saying that the economists are saying inflation has dropped. That is on the news this morning. And I smiled. Inflation has dropped, but I had to buy fuel for my car at 900 naira yesterday night. Sorry, which inflation are they talking about? The inflation in the moon or the one in Nigeria? Well, I'm telling you. What, what is the is price <laughs> of rice? That's what I'm saying. That it, it, rice is uh, the, 80, the, 80, the, the woman in the I think market, it's almost 90,000. A bag of rice, yes, correct. No, 80, it was around the, it, 80, it was 85, 85,000 as at four days ago. It was 88, too. Okay. So I don't know whether it depends on the brand of the rice. brand of rice you buy. Oh. Even there are some rice that you buy at uh, 90,000. Now, are they saying that the price of rice has suddenly dropped to 20-something, uh, uh, 60-something thousand? Probably you... you or oh, Gary price ask, has reduced. You'll be asking the indices, the variables. So what are the, the variables they are using? The you know, you know, the table manners. All, all goes back to table <laughs> manners. My brother, where you eat, you support it. If not, why would somebody come out to say that the, the inflation rate has dropped? Dropped to where? Okay, right. okay, in their pockets. Because they are within government and everything is within their reach. Well, you know they the, don't buy fuel. The so they don't know what we feel. The they don't buy garlic. The they don't, don't buy rice. Serious. Everything everything is given to them. So they don't even understand. They are not even bothered about the common man. They These are things are so annoying, you know. The government deals with figures and they are telling you by the figures, what figures? That they have. Inflation has dropped. As at this morning, it has dropped. Yeah, to so what? Now, to what? Well, that would be... Am I an economist? I'm telling okay. you what it is. So... If it has dropped, you, you know, you said the government appears to be listening. That's why I'm now bringing down these indices. No, I said appears. So and it, if they appear because they were be calling people for meetings. If they appear to the be protests. listening, then you appear to be angry at how the government so far has reacted to the information that they have received. Don't you agree? No, what, 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 what is happening is even more annoying than All right. before, what we, before the protest. Okay. And... Um, I know they will do something. You know the government will do something. <laughs> I know they Positively. will do something. Positively. All because right. because uh, they won't want to they won't want us to get to 
uh, a point where people will revolt. All right.